Okay, in finishing school, we had the cars, cut, angle, reach, and score. We also deal with the car has to stop. We say stop, trick, obstruct, and pivot. So Maisie's going to try to drive like a banana, uh, cucumber, not a banana. Let's go in slow motion. Stop. Now, young kids, if Maisie gets in the lane, the first thing on your defender's mind is to block the shot. The most powerful move in all of basketball has been, always will be, the shot fake. RJ's going to try to block the shot. Maisie knows that. So she's going to show a good shot fake. RJ's going to jump. She's going to finish. And she's going to score. So let's go right from the top. Let's push dribble right or left. You can pivot. Get low. Okay, good. Now try to get even a little deeper to the basket, Maisie. So that's a stop. And we like to say stop on a dime. RJ, don't even guard her. Maisie, make a push dribble, land two feet, quick stop. Stop quicker. Push it out even more and get closer to the basket. Push it faster, make a quick stop. Good. Then the trick is the shot fake. You want to trick them, okay? Then if RJ or the defender flies by or leaves their feet, you can shoot it. And one of the most underrated thing in the game is to draw a foul. Because if RJ's down here, Maisie gives a good trick. RJ bumps her. She goes up. Foul. He's got to sit. We get in the bonus quicker. Less likely to play hard defense because he doesn't want to come out of the game. Drawing a foul is huge. All right. So if the trick doesn't work. Say you make a trick and RJ stays down. He comes in and kind of bodies you. Maybe you can kind of push him off a little bit without throwing your elbow out. Maybe I can just kind of bump him, get up and get a shot, or go for it. So that's the obstruct. All right, so now let's just kind of bump him back a little bit, bump, get a shot off, score it. Now if we come back and you obstruct, quick stop. Okay, now that doesn't work. Okay, pivot. now you can reverse pivot. Yep, you can make a post move. Okay, let's make a little reverse pivot that you like to make. Okay, pivot. You can do the same thing where you came back and basically an up and under. But the rules of the game allow you to pivot. One of the first thing we taught these guys how to do when they were younger was to pivot to get the defense off of them. So let's come back one more time. Okay, if you drive and the defender does a good job by staying sideways with you, okay, don't throw it up and don't drive and shoot a, go down and shoot an out of control layup, Maisie, where you fall out of the lane. We don't allow those. We don't want those shots at all. We want her to drive like a cucumber. If she can't cut the angle, reach and score, let's go hard again, Maisie, make a good quick stop. Okay, push dribble. Okay, now, RJ flew by. Obviously, you shoot it. You made that little thing. But say RJ stayed with you. He walled up. Okay, trick him. Shot fake. RJ leaves his feet. Okay, go and score. Okay, the first thing is to trick. Second thing is to obstruct a little bit to get a little room. The third thing to do is to pivot. And that's why we work a lot on our weak hand so we can finish with either hand around the basket. So in finishing school, we work on cars and we work on stops. Well, that ended another episode of The Old Man in the Gym. I hope it enlightened you, you found it helpful, you see ways that you can go out and improve the game and the players and the people that you know that you love and care about. Together, Let's make sense of the absolute nonsense of youth basketball. If you liked it, please like it, subscribe, or share it. We want to spread the word, interested in your feedback, love to hear from you, and let's change this game for the better.